Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Gourmet's Delight and this is Faiza. If you like my recipe, please do subscribe to my channel. So this is a chart special week and today we are going to make how to make dahi puri. Who doesn't like chart? Chart is everyone's favorite. And especially when it is raining cats and dogs outside, we just love to have some spicy, some sour, some tangy charts. So just sit at home, watch this recipe and please do try this recipe. You will love it and just serve it for your loved ones as well. Let's get started. I'm going to take my saucepan. Into the saucepan, I'm going to add quarter cup tamarind. Into this, I'm going to add one and a half cup water. And I'm going to boil this for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes are almost done. Now I'm going to turn off the flame and mash this nicely. Once this is cooled, uh, we'll strain this. So let's strain the tamarind. this is done. Now I'm going to discard this. Now I'm going to pour this tamarind pulp back into the same saucepan. I'm going to add half liter water into this. Into this I'm going to add one cup sugar that is 250 grams. 1 teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon chili flakes, half teaspoon ginger powder and now I'll be cooking this for 3 minutes. It's 3 minutes now. Now I have this. This is 2 tablespoon corn flour and I've taken some water and I've made a slurry out of this. And now I'll be adding this slowly. And I'm going to cook this for another one minute and turn off the flame. So my sweet tamarind chutney is ready. I'm going to leave this for cooling. Now let's prepare the spicy coriander chutney. We need 4 to 5 sprigs of mint leaves, handful coriander leaves, extract of half lemon, 2 to 3 green chilies, half teaspoon salt. We need to grind this to a fine paste by adding very little water. The spicy green chutney is ready. Now into a bowl, I'm going to add one and a half cup yogurt, one teaspoon cumin powder, half teaspoon chaat masala powder, half teaspoon red chili powder, two tablespoons sugar, 1 teaspoon salt. Now let's mix this well. So the yogurt chutney is ready. For the stuffing, I have taken 1 cup chickpeas, soaked and boiled and they are tender now. You can just see this, if I just press this, yeah. To 
to this i'm going to add 1 tablespoon chopped onions another tablespoon so totally 2 tablespoons 1 tablespoon chopped coriander leaves half teaspoon salt quarter teaspoon chaat masala i'm going to mix this well and now i'm going to mash this very lightly This is my stuffing. This is the sweet tamarind chutney, yogurt chutney, and spicy coriander chutney. You can uh, store the tamarind chutney in the refrigerator and uh, up to two months, and you can use it. So these are my puris. Uh, you call it gol gappas or puchka or puri anything in different region it's called by different names so i've taken around 15 uh, puris and now i'm going to break this you need to do this now i'm going to fill this with the stuffing 1 teaspoon I have added the stuffing into this and now I'm going to add the yogurt chutney. finally chopped one onion and now i'm going to add this some finely chopped coriander leaves one row i'm going to keep it for spicy uh, dahi puris one row for medium dahi puris and one row for sweet dahi puris add the spicy one over here this is the medium row and now the sweet one with some more dahi chutney as this is dahi puri and you need to add this and now i'm going to sprinkle some red chili powder on top of this if you like this recipe Please don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and family and also click the bell icon to keep yourself updated for the new recipes.